So dude, that is a sweet tap. What was the decision to uh, go ahead and get the sleeve? Uh, the decision? I don't know. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time and uh, just never really knew exactly what I wanted to get, but uh, you know, just kind of becoming my own person and my own fighter and, and you know, taking this path that I, I've really wanted for a long time after my last fight. I was like, I'm going to do it. You know, it's, it's, the, it's really the type of tattoo. I've wanted like a three-quarter sleeve for a while. So, you know, I, uh, I decided to get something that was personal, like my Zodiac, so that uh, represents it in a way that I could kind of, I told the guy I wanted a Zodiac tattoo that I could wear like armor. And so that's kind of what he made for me. And I think it's pretty cool. It's not done yet. It's like, you know, maybe 50, 60% done. So, uh, but it still looks pretty badass right now. So after this next fight, then we'll, we'll get it finished up. But, you know, it's, uh, it's just kind of me finally, finally really getting to be myself uh, uh, for a change. Do you feel like you're addicted to the needle already? Definitely. Uh, you know, right after the show, I got the, the small one, the every single second tattoo um, that, that we got. And after I got that, it's like kind of like breaking the ice. You're like, okay, now I'm not worried about it. I'm not afraid of it. I know what I want. And now it's just a matter of, you know, having the time and the money and the means to, to get it done and the right artist. So, uh, so once all those things got in line, it was way too easy for me to go and sit down in the chair. <laughs> Talk about your fight coming up. You got Betch Correa. Uh, what are your thoughts on her as an opponent? Um, she's... You know, she's Brazilian, she's a shorter opponent, which is kind of a relief considering the last chick I fought was 6'2". Uh, so I know that she's undefeated. Uh, she's in one fight in the UFC just like me. I think it's a good matchup. I think it's a fair matchup. And uh, I'm anxious to uh, send her her first loss. And uh, I think it's going to be a good fight. I know that she's really aggressive and she's a solid fighter. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be a good fight for me to kind of show all the things that I've been working on and the fighter that I've become. What are your thoughts on her last performance? Uh, against, she fought Julie Kedzie in December, and uh, you know it was a good fight. She, she stayed aggressive. It was a, a split decision, I think maybe. Uh, if not, if it was a unanimous, it was a really close fight. Still, it went all three rounds. Um, I saw a lot of holes in her game. I saw a lot of things that I, I thought I could capitalize on that maybe Julie didn't. Um, but you know, I'm not underestimating her. Julie's a vet, and she beat her. Period. Um, so that's certainly nothing to take lightly, and uh, I'm, I'm, I think that stylistically, I'm a much more dangerous fight for her. Tell us what you've been working on here at GFC. Uh, at GFC, this is where we work on the majority of our striking. Uh, we do some wrestling here too, but uh, you know the, the the main reason we come is our head coach Evan Tavardian, who's our striking coach, and uh, he's really been developing me. Uh, as a fighter to, to really use my range. It's been the one criticism throughout my career that everyone said is that you know I have this huge reach advantage that I don't use. Um, and I think starting on the Ultimate Fighter, you start to see this progression of me as a fighter getting better and better and better at, uh, at using my range and using these gifts that I have. And uh, it's, it seems wasteful not to, right? It's like, why, why fight like a chick who's 5'6 when I can fight like myself who's 5'11? And, uh, you know, I fought for the first time an opponent that was taller than me, and uh, you know I set a UFC record on her uh, for significant strikes uh, for a debut fighter. So I think that showed a huge growth in myself uh, as a striker, uh, because if you don't know this about me striking, fighting a taller opponent is much harder. It's why fighting someone like me is a problem for a lot of people because that range is, is such a huge advantage and it's so much harder to hit someone like that. And especially for me, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to, I'm always used to being the taller fighter. So to be able to go through a camp and go through the coaching and have what I need to not just beat her, but beat her the way I did um, and, and as effectively, and use my striking as effectively as I did, it gave me a lot of confidence. So I feel a lot better about going into a fight against a shorter opponent. And uh, I expect, I expect something equally as impressive this time around. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you like the dog fight? Because it seems like every fight you're in recently has just been a, a knockdown, drag out war. I, I love, I love the fight. And when I get in there, I mean, I always think to myself, you have 15 minutes. Uh, I've trained months for this, and you finally have that moment. You finally have those 15 minutes to get out there and fight. And I just don't understand fighters that go out there and hesitate. You know, it's like, why? Why? You only have such a short window. It's so brief. It's like a, it's like a blink and it's over. And if you waste even a, a second of it, man, it can be gone and, uh, or it can go not your way. And I've done that. I went through that as an amateur. So I, I kind of became this fighter that it's like, as soon as I hear that bell, like it's game on. And, uh, a lot of, a lot of the, the girls that I fought before, they just crashed in. They tried to smother that. They didn't want that. 
but as I've gotten better at keeping my range and being able to do what I want to do in the fight, that's just the kind of fighter that I am. I mean, I, I do. I love it. I love to just throw down and, you know, I'm going to... It's not. I'm not one of those fighters that's like, oh, I like to get hit. I don't. I don't like to get hit. I think that's crazy to say. Why would you like to get hit? If I could go through a fight and not get hit at all, that would be great. Um, but it is a fight, and you are going to get hit. So I'm not afraid of it, and uh, I know that it's uh, it's going to be exciting. You know, it, that's that's what I want because we we do this to entertain the fans. You know, that's um, if I loved to fight, I would just walk out on the street and pick a fight. But I love to fight and entertain people, so that's that's what I want to do. So that's when I go out there, like when it turns into that dog fight, that just makes it that much more exciting to me, and uh, I can't wait to I can't wait to do it again. And I know it, I know that's what this one's gonna be. She's she's Brazilian, she's aggressive, she's you know cocky, she believes in herself. It's it's gonna be that kind of fight for sure. You say cocky, is that because you guys have been getting a little Twitter quarrel uh, online, and how did that even begin, and what was said? You know, I don't even. I can't even remember what triggered it that started the conversation somehow. You know how Twitter is, you just both get tagged in something and then someone responds and uh, things get out of hand quickly. Fans tend to make things escalate quickly uh, and they think that the things you're saying are the things the fans are saying or whatever. And uh, it, it became something like uh, just talking about the fight and how she was going to knock me out. and. Uh, someone said, "Don't don't bring a pit bull to a gunfight," and you know she was like, "I'm bulletproof," and so there was like this little, you know, in my opinion, it's it's all it's all in good fun. That's a good fight promotion. You're talking about your fight. People want to see a fight. They want to see fighters that want to beat each other up. They don't want to see fighters that that are going to be hesitant and they just kind of want to win. Like no, they want to see they want to see us fight. And uh, I think that that was really all it showed me is that she's excited. She's as excited about this fight as I am. And uh, she wants to come out there and take my head off, and I can't wait for her to try and do that because uh, I think she's going to be surprised. I, I think maybe because I'm less experienced in in the professional MMA world, barely uh, than her, or or maybe because of you know I lost my fight on the show, and that's what she's going on. I don't I don't really know what it is, but she seems to maybe be taking me a little lightly uh but i think the reality of it will set in at weigh ends when we finally get to kind of lay eyes on each other because I, i'm i'm a lot more physically intimidating than people think uh if all they've ever seen is me on tv or pictures of me uh but when she sees me at weigh ins and she knows that she's going to step in the cage with me i think it's going to be a different story so uh, i'm i'm kind of looking forward to that